This proposition is very silly, but I promise it can save lives. Here's our common crash. A car at 90 degrees to my vector, and he cut me off. If I was riding faster than I should, this could have gone tits up. So why do drivers look but fail to see how fast a motorcycle approaches. Any explanation is dead worth knowing. Any solution worth implementing, even if the answers come from pigeons. And what can only be described as the Frenchest experiment ever. So this biologiste terroriste took runs at pigeons. In a 50 kph zone, he charged them at 20, 60, 100. It never made a difference. The pigeons always left the same takeoff distance. Except on roads with higher speed limits, they took off earlier. On roads with lower speed limits, they took off later. But pigeons give zero shits for the actual speed of Pierre's Peugeot. Instead, they learn the road speed limit from their everyday run-ins. Why? Because pigeons suck at visually assessing how fast a particular vehicle is closing on them. I promise this is relevant. See, pigeons have no binocular disparity. A human will see from their right eye a slightly different angle from their left, and the magnitude of that disparity varies with distance. So our brains can use binocular disparity to judge how fast an object is closing on us. Come so. And they call it stereopsis. Within 30 meters, it's a main method for gauging the speed of other vehicles. Unless you're a pigeon with only one eye on each side of your head. Now when I scan a 90 degree intersection, same handicap. See, only one eye is looking because the other is blocked by my nose. And I don't even realize it, but I am a pigeon. This is less problematic when observing cars, since one eye can still track the apparent increase in size to gauge closing speed. But motorcycles are skinny pricks. They don't show much enlargement until they're about to bang. So what's the solution? Historically, we've spent millions advertising motorcycles are small, pay more attention. Now, when you drive up to a main road, it's easy to see other cars. But because a motorcycle is a third of the width of a car, he's very hard to see. But he's dead easy to hurt. <laughs> Nasty. If you want to avoid this, think once, think twice, think bike. He's not wrong, but he's not useful either. If we're dealing with a sensory problem, then imploring drivers to see better is like imploring a deaf person to listen up. I'd rather take my own responsibility and treat all these cars like Pierre's pigeons. They won't judge my speed correctly. They will assume I'm moving like other vehicles, so that's what I do. The speed limit. Well, near intersections anyway.